Hey guys, it's Corey Beasley with Fight Cam Conditioning, and I'm going to share a handful of my favorite grip exercises that I use with my fighters here in the garage. So this first exercise is just simply a, a hex bar deadlift with the bar we got back behind us. And all I'm going to do to tax the grip a little bit harder is to add these fat grips. They're a real, real simple little tool. You just peel them open, snap them over to, uh, to over the bar, and it just makes that handle a bit fatter, right? It's harder to hold on to. Um, we've used this for years, and uh, we use it with dumbbells, barbells, um, and on this one, the hex bar. So we're going to do deadlifts. The second exercise that we're going to do is with the dumbbells here, and they also have the fat grip handles on there. We're going to do renegade rows. You're basically in a push-up position, keeping your hips and everything real still, and then rowing, alternating rows back and forth. Obviously, <clears throat> same as the deadlift we just did, when you put those fat grip handles on there, it just makes it a little bit more taxing on your hands. Um, it's just a, a little tweak uh, that I like to use to, you know, to get that grip work in when we can. The third exercise that we're going to do is utilizing a, a hub, it's like a hub grip that I think I got from Iron Mine. Uh, it just has a loading pin that holds uh, the weights you can stack on, um, but basically it's just a circle on the top and you're going to be using just the tips of your fingers to be able to hold on to that. All right, so we just literally will hold for time, you know, and just sitting there and that's super challenging on the thumb. A little bit different on all the fingers, um, but a, a really cool grip specific um, uh, exercise that's just, it's just different than the fat grips, than towels, than gi grips, and all that different type of stuff. Um, this is one that we'll throw in typically at the end um, so that you're not fatiguing the hands when you need to use them on your heavy pulls and stuff. So, uh, so it's another really cool one, um, just a little bit more focused on the fingers. This next exercise, we're going to use the, the Gripto Trainer. It's basically a, a, a tube. I think we did a review last week, and uh, it has just a big sphere on the end of it. I got a string <clears throat> tied off and just a, a handful of weights that are sitting on the end of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide that right onto the end of my barbell that's up in the squat rack here and just let those weights hang. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab that sphere on the end of that and we're going to just simply turn it back and forth. And then once you get it kind of set, you can sit there and kind of hang and pull and rotate. And the grip is a little bit different, like a claw grip over the end of that sphere. You got the weights hanging, so you get that like, turning motion, almost like a plumber kind of turning or wrenching his hands all day long. Um, but this is another really, really great finisher that we use towards the end of the workouts for the boys. All right, and the last one is uh, basically to develop, a lot of the ones we've been talking about are for the fingers and for the grip, for the forearms. Um, this one is a little bit more specific for the stability of your wrist. So a lot of guys, if you're hitting off center and you know turning your wrist or hurting your wrist or your elbow and stuff like that, this might help just solidify your wrist a bit. But we're just gonna basically take a kettlebell and you're gonna hold it. You're gonna stack your hand right up above your elbow and just keep that body, that elbow in tight to your torso. And then you're trying to not, not allow that thing to fall. Don't allow that kettlebell to fall. You're just holding, stacking from the top of this kettlebell to the bottom of your elbow is straight. And your elbow's in tight to your ribs and you're just holding it. And this might be a little bit deceiving, but as you get the weights up, it's very, very difficult to hold and maintain, especially if you're right hand dominant or left hand dominant, you use your opposite arm. You'd be shocked how much more difficult it is. So. There you go. There's a bunch of exercises for you um, to help you know, build up the grip strength. And uh, if you guys want more information, click the link down below and uh, you can download a whole bunch of stuff we got for you.